back to my channel. I'm James, and today we're going to talk about a gothic horror thriller mystery that's kind of just one of those grand epic set piece movies that had so many things going for it that really has grown in cult status over the last several years. And it was kind of misunderstood when it originally came out, but as years have gone on, people have learned to appreciate this film more and more. So today I'm excited to announce we're going to deep dive into Mary Shelley's Frankenstein on 4K Ultra HD. And this is the brand new Arrow Video 4K Ultra HD restoration and remaster of Frankenstein. And this is actually going to be available for you to watch roughly about a month before release date. So this is another exclusive early review here on my YouTube channel. I got this in a full month before the actual release date comes out for all of you to buy this. So this will give you plenty of time to watch this review, dive into all the specs I'm going to go through, see my review score, and also see my exclusive 4K versus Blu-ray image comparisons that I do exclusively here on my YouTube channel to see if this is something you're going to want to spend your money on to upgrade over the original Blu-ray release, and if this is actually a really nice upgrade or if this is something you should skip altogether. Now to start off, we're going to start off with the image comparison of the original Blu-ray that came out in 2009. This is the original Blu-ray release that came out in 2009 at the beginning of when Blu-rays were initially released. So this was in the initial years of when Blu-rays were first coming out as a new format. So the thing to keep in mind when you see that up above, it was not ever a great Blu-ray release. The transfer was extremely soft, desaturated, um, very, very soft image. The encoding on it was not really great. Overall, the sound mix on it was very, very soft as well. And it just was kind of one of those things that it just never was amazing to begin with. Now, showing you the new 4K Ultra HD up here above. Now, keep in mind, as I've explained dozens of times over the years, this is standard HDR you're seeing up above. So this does have Dolby Vision and HDR10 on it. So the nice thing is the HDR10 and Dolby representation on this do look very nice. But what you're seeing above, YouTube only allows standard HDR. So it dumbs down all those images to standard HDR. So what you see there will only look even better on your home TV. Now, what you probably noticed right off of the bat is there's a drastic difference in clarity, skin tones, all of those things are drastically better on the Arrow release versus the original Blu-ray release. Now, when I'm going through these exclusive screenshot comparisons, if you're not subscribed to this YouTube channel yet, you need to go down there and hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. That way you never miss out on any of this exclusive or early content that I release here exclusively on my YouTube channel. Talking about the image comparisons between the two of them, other than obviously clarity and things you can see kind of for yourself in those images. The big thing you'll notice right off the bat between the two of them is that the new 4K Ultra HD release from Arrow Video does have much of a better color grading, color saturation without being oversaturated. Now, I will touch on one thing I did notice when switching between my two settings between HDR10 and Dolby Vision since it has both options on this. The Dolby Vision does have just slightly more color saturation in it than the HDR10 presentation did. So what that means is depending on your preference, you may want to switch to the HDR10 and then switch to the Dolby Vision to determine which one you like better. But there was just slightly more noticeable color saturation in the Dolby Vision presentation than the HDR10. Now, I liked the Dolby Vision and I liked the HDR10. Did I think it was so drastic that it made it feel like they were so drastically different of a films? No, we're talking maybe 5% more color saturation on the Dolby Vision than on the HDR10. But that's just something I noticed when I was going through testing it, just like I do exclusively here on this YouTube channel when I go through and test everything. Now, this new 4K Ultra HD is a native 4K 2160p. And this was actually scanned from the original 35 millimeter film elements for this brand new 4K restoration and remaster they did for this release. It does look drastically more enhanced, detailed, depth, all of those things that you were noticing over that original Blu-ray. And it's kind of unfair to be honest with you after I was watching and comparing it to my original Blu-ray. I mean, it really didn't hold up anything compared to this 4K. That original Blu-ray was so poor in and of itself because it was at the beginning of the generation of Blu-ray in the first place that Arrow Video didn't have to do a whole lot with this to make it look better. But thankfully they did do a whole lot with this to make this look a whole lot better, which makes it even that much more of an upgrade overall. Now this will be coming out for all of you to buy on April 12th. So as I said, this is about four weeks early. Now I will have the link as always listed in the description section right below this video and as a pinned comment in the comment section below. So if you do decide after watching this review that you want to pick this up and add this to your collection, 
Make sure to go down to one of those links below, either in the description section or as a pinned comment below. Click through that. I've done all the work for you. It takes you straight out there to pick up your copy, and that's at no extra cost to you. So make sure if you're going to pick it up, click through one of those links below. Now, Mary Shelley's Frankenstein came out in 1994. It is rated R, and I will touch on that real quick. It is rated R for strong violence, some brief language, and some brief sexual content. Uh, I don't think it's too over the top, but it's going to be up to each one of you what you think. Now, it is a gothic horror movie, and the reason I say that is it's in the vein of a lot of those universal classic horror movies. I mean, obviously, it's Frankenstein, so I mean, it is a classic horror movie. Movie. But to me, it was never so over the top. It does take things kind of in a weird direction in some times, and I thought it kind of was one of those things, kind of surprised you how it turns out some of the things they do in the film. But I think that's what adds to its cult status over the years. So if you haven't seen the film and you're wanting to dive into it and you like kind of those universal classic horror movies, this is one of those that I do think was really enjoyable. And I really don't quite understand why a lot of people didn't take to it originally when it came out in theaters because the special effects, the makeup effects, the acting, it, yeah, some of it's a little bit over the top, but that adds to such of the big grand spectacle that I really think Kenneth Branagh, who's the director of this, actually added to it. And the funny thing is, one of my favorite writers and directors, Frank Darabont, actually wrote the script for this. So there's a lot of really big talent behind this. Now, something else a lot of people didn't know is, Francis Ford Coppola actually produced the film. So I just recently did on this YouTube channel, The Godfather, and that's been huge. Paramount Studios sent that to me early for review, several weeks early, and it's been wonderful. And that's gotten over 21,000 views on that video already. It's been absolutely massive. Well, he actually produced this movie. So kind of going along with the vein of basically The Godfather, Francis Ford Coppola came and produced this movie. So some huge names in cinema behind this actual Frankenstein. Now, the runtime on this is 123 minutes. They didn't cut it down, edit it down. Aspect ratio is in the original aspect ratio. Arrow video didn't mess with that. It's 1.85 to 1. None of that was changed. It's all in the original. Now, audio option wise on this, it does have English DTS HD Master Audio 5.1, and that's a lossless mix for this. Now, it also has English LPCM 2.0, and that's the original uncompressed stereo track. So you do get an option of which audio option you want in English. I will say the one thing I noticed when testing it on all my audio systems, especially my reference audio system, and if you want to see about that video on how to get your own reference audio system, you can actually go on the YouTube channel I have how to get a budget reference audio system for yourself. So that video is actually available as well. But when I played it through all my different audio systems, the one thing I did notice is on the DTS HD Master Audio 5.1, it was just slightly softer of an audio mix than a lot of 4Ks that have come out. I did have to turn it up maybe about three to four decibels notches, basically higher on the audio system than I normally would when I watch a movie. Now, is that a game changer or breaks the disc or makes you not want to buy it? No, I just try to be picky on little things like that to point them out for all of you. Things that you might notice along the way when I'm testing it and making notes as I'm going along to share as I always do with all of you. Now this does include English subtitles as well on it, but that's the only option for subtitles is just English, which seems to be part of the course for a lot of Arrow videos releases. But the nice thing is they did give us English subtitles on it. So any of you that need English subtitles, they are included in this set. If you enjoy watching these videos here on my YouTube channel, and these videos help you out in any way, the only way I can continue to create all these videos that all of you enjoy watching is through the support of all of you, my viewers and subscribers. So make sure to go down and either give a super thanks down below or a donation through the PayPal donate link down below in the description section or as a pinned comment below. That super thanks button or the donation is just like giving a tip. Even if you can only give a dollar or two dollars, any amount on every video you watch helps and goes right back into this channel. Helps me to pay for all the software, helps me to pay for all the data and everything I have to go through to provide all of these exclusive 4K versus Blu-ray image comparisons that you see above. I have to scan all of the discs, then I have to pay for server space to store all of that on, then I have to download them off of that and use the software to create all these videos with all these special effects that all of you enjoy watching here on my YouTube channel. And the only way I can continue to provide these is through the support of all of you, my viewers and subscribers. I am not sponsored by anybody and all of the support comes directly from all of you. So make sure if you enjoy these and these videos help you out at all, make sure to go down and either give a super thanks or give a donation through the PayPal donate link below. Also, don't forget to give this video a like and a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. And I've posted all the links for everything I review, including this Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, 
down in the description section right below this video and as a pinned comment. So if you're going to pick up any of these titles I ever review or talk about any of these videos, make sure to go down to one of those links. That's it, no extra cost to you, but that does help to support my YouTube channel just a tiny bit. So make sure if you're going to pick it up, click on one of those links below. Now going inside of here, it does have the new artwork on it, which I did like. It does obviously say on the side, Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. And then on the back, it goes through a bunch of the special features, which I'll touch on here in just a few minutes. Now, this does have reversible artwork on it. And this is what the reversible artwork looks like. So it's the original kind of poster artwork, which I do like that as well. And Arrow Video always does a good job giving us reversible artwork, which I always appreciate. They go that extra mile. On the back, same artwork that you had before, with just a slightly different kind of like outline behind what it talks about on the disc. Now, for those of you that are wondering, this is the special edition and the first run copies. Now, something that Arrow Video does exclusively, on their first runs of like these special editions, you usually get a slip cover. Well, for Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, they did not do a slip cover on it. Uh, basically, this is just the way it comes with the reversible artwork. But I do have some good news for all of you collectors out there. When we get inside here, you do get on the first run a very nice booklet. And the booklet is always what I think really sells me on a lot of what I like about Arrow videos like special editions and limited edition sets. Now in this booklet, I'm not gonna go through everything on it, but I'll just show you. It's all really glossy pages on it. Talks about behind the scenes, essays, talking about making the film, kind of like what went on with the box office, tons and tons of pictures throughout it. So overall, I was really pleased with the booklet that Arrow Video did. So even though we don't get a slipcover, I do love this slipcover. And I love having Arrow Video's special edition releases with slipcovers. But for this, they did a really nice job with the booklet in here. So I'll kind of let it go for that. But I will tell you on this booklet, a lot of people wonder why you need to buy Arrow Videos when they first come out. Just like with their limited editions, they sell out. Well, these booklets are only on the first run. That means once the first printing of these sells out, when you buy this set anymore after the first printing's over, there will be no booklet inside. It'll come blank with just the disc. You won't get this booklet. So that is why I always pre-order or buy my Arrow videos early, especially if it's one I'm interested in getting, because these booklets to me are really enjoyable and are something that are very, very collectible. Now getting inside of the rest, you do get a postcard for an upcoming release from Arrow Video. On the back, it just talks about Arrow Video. Then inside here, this is what it would look like if it wasn't in the first run. So if you're watching this video months after it's come out and it's no longer available in the first run, yours just won't have anything here. The booklet won't be included. Otherwise, disc will be the same. I like the artwork on it. I did like how it matched the new artwork on the front of the case. Now, for all my international and worldwide audience, I did test the 4K disc on this. It is a BD100. So good news is plenty of room for all the special features and especially because the runtime is only 123 minutes, there was no issues with it, compression or anything like that. And the disc is completely region free. So no matter where you live worldwide, that link I have posted below, you can pre-order it or buy it through and it'll ship it anywhere worldwide. And the disc is 100% region free. You won't have any issues playing any of the special features or playing the movie in any shape or form. Now touching on the special features here for a minute, there are four brand new special features that were commissioned by Arrow Video that they did for this. Plus it includes a bunch of other things like stills galleries, trailers, audio commentaries. So it does have a nice set of special features on it. And that's kind of what Arrow Video is known for. They're very similar to like Criterion Collection where they go the extra mile to make this a really nice collectible. So those of you that want to watch the special features and have things to dive into about the movie, they did include those on it. Now to touch on a couple of the special features, it does include a brand new interview interview with the costume designer, brand new interviews with makeup designers, Mary Shelley and the creation of a gothic monster, a brand new documentary feature on the origins and evolutions of Frankenstein's story, behind the scenes gothic special effects, John Rigby and the differences between the novel and Kenneth Branagh's screen adaption. It talks about a literal adaption, talking about how they changed it, what they did, the costumes. So that's just to touch on some of the special features. So it was nice that in this, that they did give us all those extra special features that weren't ever on that original Blu-ray release, like what we've been talking about, that was really just a bare bones release altogether, which is why I kind of felt like as far as the Blu-ray release went, it was never really that great to begin with. So Arrow Video didn't have to do much, but they really did go the extra mile for this. Now, the scan that was done on this was done by Sony, and they did the original scan 
good for this. And then basically it was remastered and things like that by Arrow afterwards to release on 4K. So you already know when Sony scans things, they do an absolutely outstanding job on that. And Sony and Arrow Video working together is just an absolutely stellar combination. And the image on this does look superb. I mean, you really can't compare that that Blu-ray was something great because it wasn't. And this just looks great overall. Now I will touch on one thing you will notice throughout it when you're watching it though. There are some scenes that are very soft altogether on the 4K and on the Blu-ray. Now the Blu-ray was soft altogether anyways, as you've noticed as we've been going through these screenshots above. But there is one thing that they talk about. The way Kenneth Branagh used films and lens flares and he would use film over the lenses to make it very, very dreamy and soft of a sequence. No matter how many times they scan that, that will never change because on the original film elements, he was using lenses over that to give it that effect. So it doesn't matter how clear they try to make it, it will always have that soft element to it in certain scenes. It's not throughout the whole movie, but there's some just like when he's in basically the snow and there's some like the romantic scenes where it gets really soft and kind of just dreamlike sequence. That's intentional and that won't ever go away. Now talking about the film grain, this was filmed obviously on 35 millimeters. So it does retain the natural film grain from when it was filmed and they did not DNR it out or use the program neat to kind of handle it or try to take it away. So I am happy to announce it does retain that natural film grain. It's very filmic looking overall. So that filmic look I think is just outstanding on 4Ks. And this does look great compared to that Blu-ray. The Blu-ray very much had a very DNR'd and very just soft image overall. I really felt like it just didn't look very filmic because of how that was done so poorly on that Blu-ray. This overall though does look outstanding. The film grain and everything was done right. I didn't notice really any heavy fluctuations. There's a few little instances throughout, but it wasn't anything too heavy where it was like fluctuating or anything like that. They're just little waves that you'd see just every once in a while. Overall, Sony and Arrow for this 4K restoration did a great job with their scan and did a great job just leaving that natural filmic look. Now overall I really enjoy the film. I think for a horror gothic film it's really well done. I think it's very tasteful and it's one of my favorite like just kind of like those universal classic monsters feels but updated and I think that it's well done. Though I will tell you it does have some gory scenes in it and the story does have a really shocking twist to it. If you haven't seen it it really surprised me the first time I'd ever seen it and even to this day kind of watching it again it really does kind of just get you right in the gut and you realize man it is a really drastic different kind of version of Frankenstein but I think it's enjoyable overall and I'm really happy that it's finally on 4k Ultra HD and looks so great so my review score for Mary Shelley's Frankenstein on 4k Ultra HD from Arrow Video is a great 9.3 they did a great job with this now I really wish Arrow Video would have done this in a limited edition box set where it would have had a really big book and posters and postcards because I think like the artwork and the style of the film being so stylized and like all their makeup effects for Frankenstein and everything were so well done in it that I thought it would have been cool to have some shiny postcards and things that they do in those limited edition sets. So I kind of wish they would have done that. I do like the booklet that it has that in there, but I just would have liked the extra pizzazz that basically Arrow Video is known for. I'm thankful it's out though. And being on 4K Ultra HD, this is the best it's ever looked. This comes highly recommended. I definitely suggest adding it to your collection. 9.3 is a great review score. Just keep in mind you might have to turn up the audio just a little bit because the audio mix was just a tad softer than what I'm used to. Otherwise everything was clear in it, crisp, I could hear everything. Um, the only time I noticed ever that the audio had any issues hearing something was when there was anything super loud with the background noise. Then you would hear just slightly, you'd have to listen just a little bit for their voices. But other than that, the mix was fine. Um, just turn your audio up just slightly more. That's where I said there were some slight little things that gave it that 9.3 that kind of went into it. But I really enjoyed this. I thought this was a great release. I love the reversible artwork. And I suggest picking this up. Let me know in the comment section below if you've seen this movie, what you thought of it. Don't spoil it for people if they haven't seen it though. But let me know as far as what you thought if this was a good Frankenstein movie and you really enjoyed this. Let me know if you're excited now to pick up Mary Shelley's Frankenstein on 4K Ultra HD now that you've seen my review and review score. I'm always curious if this kind of makes all of you excited once you get to see all the 4K versus these Blu-ray image comparisons that I do. I had fun with this one. I enjoyed the movie. I enjoyed diving into this and exclusively testing this, doing all the screenshots. I always enjoy diving into things like this where there's big makeup effects and costumes to kind of determine what screenshots I'm going to use to kind of show off the differences between the Blu-ray and the 4K. And that's where it's kind of a fun thing to dive into and do ones like this because the makeup effects really make it a fun thing doing that. Make sure to start that conversation in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video or this video helped you out at all, 
Make sure to go down and give a super thanks or give a donation down below in the description section below. That super thanks button is always right below the video and it looks just like that. When you click on that, it lets you give a tip of any amount that goes right back into this channel. That helps to support this channel so I can keep doing this full time for all of you to watch and enjoy. And that's how I'm able to go out and spend the week working on this review, doing all these screenshots, getting all this together for all of you to watch and enjoy. So make sure if this helped you out and you enjoyed this, make sure to go down and either give a super thanks or a donation below. As always, I posted all the links in the description section right below this video and as a pinned comment in the comment section. Make sure to give this video a like and a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and that bell notification. And I hope all of you, as always, have a blessed day and I've always got something new, early, and always exciting coming out here on my YouTube channel very soon.